schedule this week. Oh, <laughs> I can do this. We have a new assignment. What is this? You are new. <laughs> We're not even done with the recollections assignment. But we have another one to do. Teaching myself illustrator. Because I need it for the laser cutter this Friday and I don't know how to use it. So are you ready to hear my complaints? <laughs> Yesterday, I don't know why. It's become a zoom in. Mine's literally just disappeared. friends told me yesterday that maybe I should paint <laughs> I should work on my assignment I have you've seen a clip of it that was the first thing I did in the morning but I'm just tired I finished my breakfast maybe I should paint <laughs> I'll find something to paint
감사합니다. 시간아. 네. 님들 쫓아오다가 피똥 싼 놈들 열어봤다. First assignment, it's a group project. I'm in a group of six with six other people, and we each individually have to collect 512 things. And then, with those 512 things, it could usually be anything. So, what I've collected so far is like a bunch of leaves, buildings, a lot of photos. So, collect all of those things and we combine our arrangements, I'm guessing. So, it's, it's up to us how we want to organize it and how we want to present it. My group so far has decided we're going to just brainstorm a bunch of things first and then later finalize things. It's pretty good. And I don't know. So that's a 512 assignment. So now with my theory class, we also have an assignment. Which is due on the 1st of October. We have to submit this kind of 500 word essay about an illustrator of our choice. Now the illustrator could be, it has to be either Dutch or someone from your own country. So I found this Filipino illustrator who does a lot of um, coloring, drawing books of that sort. And I forgot his name, which is kind of bad because I'm writing about him, but I've started very re preliminary research where I just write everything about him. Because the first 250 words has to be consisting of a bibliography of him and like 50 images to basically describe his sort of lifetime as work at this moment which is cool it's very cool i think those are the key assignments at this moment but i have a feeling we're gonna be introduced to our second non-theory assignment soon I don't know what that's about. I think it's the 50 ways to tell, but I don't know what it's about, so I can't really say anything. Yes. I think that's it. We really have to do. Um, and today at the drawing station, we have to bring magazines. I'm like, who usually brings magazines nowadays? Well, we have to bring magazines. And I wonder if you have a lot of business ones because of my parents. Okay, this is the outfit of the day.
guys already know I'm an art student, so I have a paper haul at this link to be very happy. So yesterday, I went with uh, Nicholas, one of, one of my friends. Anyways, I got specific acrylic paper, and it's so cool because it actually feels like a canvas, but and it's really thick, and I haven't, I've never tried it. And I have finally invested myself in proper watercolor paper because I have tried to like watercolor before, but I've never had the right paper. So I could never do it properly. And with the laser cutter, we needed colored paper. So I went today to my local Buna and I got these. There are four colors, which I don't mind. And they're all kind of the same. But they're nice yes this paper roll is amazing i'm in love with it can't wait to use adjusting color you can use grayscale you can use rgb you can use cmyk and you can use hsb and you act was certainly what uh, Anton Pic wanted to see and it's it's a romantic take on on history also just as our engravings far removed from uh, reality uh, Anton Pic um, he has his own museum by the way in Hatem near Zola um, it's not always open but uh, you have to be really sure if it's, if it's open or not if you want to go there. Um, he's very much known for the... Uh, hey, so first online lesson done, which was my theory lesson, and it's pretty okay. Um, we learned a lot mainly about Dutch illustration, which um okay with but like i think i found the lesson a bit monotone for me since i'm not particularly interested in dutch illustration to be honest i wasn't really interested in illustration i don't know why i'm taking this course but i'm taking this course because it has to do with a lot of what i like to do in my own artwork but not particularly illustration wise if you get what i mean but anyways um we have a class soon at 12 30. so right now i'm just heating up some spaghetti leftover from last night and but anyways also just wanted to say special shout out to nicholas it's his birthday today he turned 20. wow i'm gonna get there soon and i'm not excited for that so like oh I'm very hungry. I only had a banana and and what else did I have? What was that thing? Oh, it's a chocolate bread that they sell here. I don't even know what it's called, but well, it wasn't very filling. I forgot to drink water. Stay hydrated, kids. Oh, and good news. So yesterday we had a meeting with our software dude, teacher, whatever his name is. And he said that my MacBook Air is not something you should be using. I had to tell my parents that my MacBook Air wasn't good. And they were kind of upset about that. But we have a MacBook Pro at home, so 
I am going to be using that one from now on, meaning I have to switch with the MacBook that is light and easy to carry to school. Now I have to kind of struggle with it, with this big 15 inch MacBook Pro. Which is good in a way because it has the specs that is needed to run all the Adobe things that we're gonna be using. So I guess it's good. I just my back and shoulders will just have to cry. Yeah, the the, the kind of uh, things that a neighborhood is not necessarily very proud of, but uh, it, it creates the history of this type of uh, of this type of activities. I thought they would be really bad, but they're really good. Ooh, new Mac. Mm -mm -mm. Because I'm an art student and a pro. <laughs> but it's not new, it's old, I'm just in hand me down. 